हाँ तो इस डियर स्टूडेंट्स द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे इज ओवरहेड हेड रेट टू डिटरमाइन बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ओ ए आर फॉर टुडे इज क्लास एंड लाइक वी विल डिटरमिन दैट हाउ दैट ओ ए आर विल बी डिटरमिन इन ऑब्जॉर्बन कॉस्टिंग बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वी नीड टू डिस्कस वॉट डू वी मीन बाई ऑब्जॉर्बन कॉस्टिंग बेसिकली देर आर टू मैथड्स टू डिटरमाइन द कॉस्ट ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट वन इज टर्म डैस मार्जिन कॉस्टिंग एंड द अदर इज टर्म डैस ऑब्जॉर्बन कॉस्टिंग द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू अप्रोचेज एज मार्जिन कॉस्टिंग Uh, focus on all the variable cost and it don't estimate the things but in absorption costing we will take all the direct cost and uh, we will estimate the direct cost uh, uh, we will predetermine those direct cost uh, for uh, sake of uh, knowing the exact cost of a product uh, that some that may be sometimes uh, can be different from the exact cost and that is debatable as well but uh, right now we will discuss that how that estimated rate is calculated we term that rate as oar overhead absorption rate and uh, for determining the overhead absorption rate uh, 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 the first uh, thing the first step would be to allocate all the overheads to different departments of a uh of a certain entity of a, or a certain business the basically what we are going to discuss is that o, uh, overhead absorption is a process to spread over the overheads to the production for a specific period and uh, uh, like before moving forward again we just need to know one more fact that cost of product consists of material cost labor cost and factory overheads we are specifically uh, talking about factory overheads we are specifically talking about how these factory overheads are allocated in the different departments to determine their overhead absorption rate overhead absorption rate if we define is the rate charged to the cost unit intended to account for uh, the overhead at a predetermined level of activity on the basis of direct labor hours direct labor cost or machine hours uh, most of the time the uh, base is given if the base is not given we will uh, we will be like uh, uh, judging that uh, the entity is a capital intensive or labor intensive uh, that can be determined uh, by number of machine hours and labor hours if machine hours are more as compared to labor hours it means that the entity is capital intensive and we can use the machine hours as a base to determine the overhead absorption rate overhead absorption rate is basically amount of overheads for a certain period divided by the total number of units to uh, uh, to be produced for that period uh, i just took one example uh, to elaborate how oar is calculated Uh, I start with this example. Uh, you can see there are certain <laughs> overheads given in the example: rent and rate, heating and lighting, inspection and supervision, insurance pre premises, and indirect wages. Um, sometimes the uh, base on which we will divide, we will allocate these ex these overheads to different departments. For example, in this example, we have. Uh, molding finishing painting canteen and maintenance as different departments so sometimes the base is given that how we are going to allocate these expenditures in different departments so sometimes we need to judge it right we need to determine it uh, using our own uh, prudence that how these overheads will be allocated into different departments and for example like rent and rates the suitable base can be floor area occupied heating and lighting and there are there can be a suitable base of number of units used and in absence of that base we can also use floor area 
as we used earlier in we can use one base for uh, allocating more than one overheads in different departments as well inspection inspection and supervision can be and uh, there can be like the number of employees can be a very good base uh, to uh, allocate this expense into different departments then insurance of premises will again use a uh, floor area occupied if it would be insurance of a plant we could use book value of the plant to uh, allocate the overheads then uh, indirect wages uh, we can use number of employees or sometimes or most of the times we can also have indirect wages already allocated just like in this example that 16000 is already divided and you can see the total of 16000 so now we will move that how we will allocate different expenditures uh, I just uh, solved this example already that Trenton rates the suitable base was floor area and we can see the calculation like uh, to determine the base we divided 60,000 that was the complete expense that total expense by floor area occupied that was 10,000 and we got the base as 6 and then we divided when we and then we multiplied 6 with all departments floor area to know the expense of that uh, the, that particular department for example we multiplied uh, 6 with 2500 with wo which was the uh, floor area of molding to get the figure of 15000 then we multiplied 6 with 2300 to uh, get the figure for finishing department is rent and then uh, like like this we multiplied uh, we multiplied 6 with uh, the floor area of painting 1900 and so on uh, similarly for heating and lighting the overheads were 22000 and again the again the basically uh, floor area base the total was 10,000 so we divided 22,000 by 10,000 the answer uh, we got 2.2 and then we multiplied 2.2 to the uh, floor area of more than 2,500 and so on and you can see the total of 22,000 is achieved as well then inspection and supervision you can see the total of inspection of supervision vision is 12,000 and the number of uh, employees uh, is only are only 20 80 uh, so we divided uh, 12,000 by 80 and we got the answer as 150 so basically we multiplied 150 with number of employees of different departments 150 by uh, 26 and then 150 by uh, then 150 by sorry and then 150 by uh, and then 150 by 22 and so on and we uh, got the figure of 12,000 and then insurance of premises well, for that we divided 9,000 by 10,000 and we got the base as 0 0.9 and then we multiplied 0 0.9 by 2500 0 0.9 by 2300 and so on indirect wages was already distributed uh, already allocated so we just wrote down the figures as it is and that's how we got the total figures for different departments for molding, finishing, painting, canteen and mint and maintenance. So that's how the first step is solved. That how uh, that's how you know uh, this like uh, uh, how this uh, allocation of overheads is distributed to different departments. Now the second step is the reallocation of service department into production department because we, uh, primarily there are there is no production production activity no no productive activity going on service in the service department service departments basically are just providing service to the production departments so we uh, we have to redistribute the expenses of service department to the production department and for that sake uh, first we will distribute that department that service department which uh, which service is used by all the departments for example uh, if we take this question uh, canteen is providing service to all the departments so 
we took canteen as first department to be allocated from the service department and uh, we will use again number of workers because canteen usually provide service to other department or the catering department uh, provide service on the number of uh, workers basis so this we divided 22 680 which was the total of canteen with 72 why 72 because although the number of employees were 80 we will not include the number of employees of canteen which was 8 so it makes the total as 72 so we divided 72 uh, 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 from like uh, we divided 22 680 by 72 and got down answer of 315 we then multiplied 315 by 26 and then uh, all the other uh, departments like 315 by 22 and in this way we distributed 22 680 to different departments and 22 680 was subtracted from canteen to obtain or to get uh, to uh, make it a zero then we uh, uh, distributed maintenance now the maintenance total was 16500 as we are going to distribute all the 16500 so basically we made it a zero again 16500 was divided as per the machine hours as it was given in the question you can see that we can uh, the maintenance cost are split amongst the free production department on the basis of machine hours so uh, sometime machine hours sometime labor hours or sometime uh, if we have to judge it we can use the base which we uh, feel like for example if machine hours are more than labor hours we could use machine hours and vice versa so in this way we distributed uh, maintenance cost to the s production departments as well and then we uh, like aggregated all the totals of uh, different production department and we got the figures of 46 440 46 46 80 and uh, uh, and then 31 880 okay and then uh, now we are almost there that how we are going to use how we are going to calculate OAR OAR basically as given the question that he said that calculate all the overhead recovery rates overhead absorption rate for each three department on the basis of budgeted direct labor hours as you can always also see that direct labor hours were greater than the machine hours in molding it for 8000 as compared to 1200 10,000 as compared to 1100 in finishing and 5,000 as compared to 700 in painting so labor hours were, were already a suitable base but if it is given already in the question that you have to use the base of machine hours you have to use that base you will not use your own discretion your own discretion will only be used if it is not provided in the question in that case you will always use the base which you feel like uh, as uh, with the uh, as you like uh, if you feel like as per the co quantity for example if labor hours are more it means that uh, company is labor intensive and you will use direct labor hours and if machine hours are more you will use uh, machine hours by considering it as a cap capital intensive unit so you basically divided direct labor hours uh, from, uh, by the expense and we got the figure of 5.81 4.07 6.38 as <coughs> oar which was the ultimate target why we use that oar basically we use that oar to know the total cost for a certain product or a certain uh, um, job for example if, uh, if we if further uh, you know elaborate this question although the or we already met all the requirement for this question but if we uh, you know assume there are certain there is one more requirement for this question that uh, we are going to quote a figure to a, a third party and we need to determine our cost for this job and we need to quote the price to the other party for that we need to know that what is the what is the total cost and uh, as we already discussed material cost labor cost and factory overheads 
will be used for that now it it must be provided in the question the different uh, hours that is spent on a certain job or product we assume the job as one to three job one to three and uh, in molding department we assume that 2.5 hours were spent in finishing department uh, we assume that three hours were spent and in painting department we assume that 3.5 hours are spent as uh, we already calculated that 5.81 was the OAR for uh, molding department so multiplying 5.81 with 2.5 we got the figure of 14.51 similarly we got the figure of 12.20 and 22.32 then the material cost um, uh, must be provided in the question and that was like 3 kg 3.5 and 4 kg we just assumed again and the material cost was 10 per kg so we just multiplied 10 by 3 and 30 was the answer 3.5 multiplied by 3, 10 and 35 was the answer 4 by 10 and 40 is the answer then direct labor hours because we have to calculate that labor cost as well and that is always on the direct labor hours basis the labor hours must be provided in the question if, if the uh, question is uh, like uh, if the question requirement is uh, to calculate the cost so labor hours are provided as 8 10 and 11 in these with pre production department and the rate for labor per hour was uniform that was 15 per hour 15 dollar 15 pound whatever it was and so we got a figure 120 150 and 165 so basically basically now we got the uh, we got the total cost of 164 by adding 120 30 and 14.51 uh, for molding department by adding all the three types of cost material labor and favorites 197.20 in finishing and 227.32 in painting and total cost for all the departments uh, by adding all the different type of cost was 589 then uh, profit we assume that uh, while calculating the price to be quoted we are adding a profit percentage of 20 and uh, taking that 20 percent of the cost of 589 we got the answer as 117 and the total price we are going to quote is 706 so that's how we will calculate oar and that's how oar will help us to determine the overall cost for a certain product or a job for our own uh, like management purposes or we can use it to calculate the price to be quoted to different customers so that's how uh, the uh, one type of co question for absorption costing uh, are solved like uh, for particularly for Cambridge exams uh, they basically they will be requiring to calculate OER then they will be requiring to calculate the total cost or sometimes they will be asking the price to be quoted the other type of uh, overhead uh, absorption costing question involves income statement and that will be you know uh, that will be based on the comparison with margin costing and that uh, that will be discussed in a separate lecture for the practice of these type of questions we discussed today uh, are given in the link you can uh, you can use that link to access those questions and practice those questions at home thank you so much